For today's lesson, I will be discussing to you changing object attributes with Fountain Field. First, you have to open a Corel Draw. Then, choose the shape or the object that you would like to draw. For example, I'm going to draw a rectangle. To apply a Fountain Field, you have to click the Fill Tool from your toolbox. Then click Uniform Field. If you're going to apply a uniform fill, you will be applying a one color only to your selected object. Now, what if you would like to apply a two colors? So, example, I'm going to draw this object. Click again the fill tool, then click Fountain Fill. Now, there are several types of Fountain Fill. We have the linear, linear compound. So you see, so that is a combination of two colors. For example, I'm going to choose yellow as my first color, then violet as my second color. Then you can even change the angle. You will be able to see what happens if you're going to adjust the angle. You can even change the edge pad. You can choose the different tools under custom by the midpoint. To move the color, so those are the different presets. For example, I will be using this one. If you're going to click or use the custom fill button, you're going to adjust the color to its proper location. If you want, you can also use radial. So that is a good example of a radial. This time up. for fountain field. That is if you're going to customize the color. But if you would like to choose a ready-made color, go back again to fill tool and fountain field. This time, you can click presets. Once you click presets, a ready-made combination color has been prepared already by the Corel Show. See? So there is a lot of presets that you can either. So let's say for example, I will be choosing rainbow seven. Again, you can adjust the colors, the position, by simply dragging one of the tools or the pencil tool that you can see there under the position. If you would like to save that color, you can click the plus sign. You can even click the angle and the edge pad to position the colors that you have chosen, then just click OK. So those are the different ways on how are you going to apply a fountain fill tool to your object in Corel.